Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have this week's schedule of official content, so let us take a look. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. So kicking off with Tuesday's lore update, the narrative team will be publishing their latest episode of Lawmakers Community Questions, in which they answer our questions about all things lore. Now this is a great post as it can often fill in some gaps in the official lore of the verse, and I always look forward to reading it. This Wednesday, the long-awaited Misk Odyssey Q&A will release, which will certainly be of interest to many, I feel. It'll be exciting learning more about this ship and its strengths and weaknesses, plus what it can mine, what it can refine, so on and so forth, so do keep your eyes out for that one. This Thursday, we will have a new episode of Inside Star Citizen. This week, it'll be taking a look at the upcoming Gravlev improvements and Jumptown 2.0, as well as kicking off the Luminalia celebrations, which was originally a Banu festival, but I think it has been adopted by humans and is celebrated on the 22nd to the 24th of December, and it is kind of to symbolize unity between races and people and the Banu. Anyway, for those interested in learning more about Luminalia, I will drop that post in the description below. Uh, regarding Inside Star Citizen though, I am really looking forward to seeing these Gravlev vehicles and all the improvements they have. Plus, it will be interesting to see what Jumptown 2.0 involves, not just on the surface of Yella, I suppose, but also under the hood in terms of maybe the economy and testing certain quantum elements. I think Tony Zurovec is hoping to get his first steps of quantum, this quantum simulation into the game by the end of the year. His team's work was completed according to the monthly report last month, or in October, I think it was. So let's hope that seeing Jumptown 2.0 is a good sign that they have got the quantum simulation hooked up in its early elements to run alongside this new event. Also, there is a new updated location for Jumptown 2.0, which looks to have a bit of an overhaul, quite possibly to provide more FPS action with multiple entries and exits. So it should be fun as there will be some legal and illegal missions hooked up to this event. And then finally, this Friday, we have the usual subscriber vault update and RSI newsletter. Plus, Star Citizen Live will be live on Twitch. However, we have no details at all at this time. Uh, I suspect it'll be more of a game dev episode, quite possibly, as it's been a while since we've had one of those, and the last two Star Citizen Lives have been pretty chonky with a lot of information. I do hope it is maybe a 316 Q&A, as CIG have been attempting to get the 316 build onto the Evocati PTU, but the last couple of attempts have failed. So do expect to hear more about 316 soon, as they do release it a little earlier in December, the last patch of every year comes out before Christmas, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that is on the cusp. Anyway, in other news, CIG have created discounted starter packages in celebration of Luminalia, with them saying, you'll definitely want to check back later this week for the full event. This year promises to be our best Luminalia celebration yet, with more gifts coming your way than ever before. Seriously, don't miss out on this one. So no idea what to expect, but it certainly has got me intrigued. So from me this week, I will be finally sitting down and recording more of the Ari Wrath Zero to Hero episodes on Wednesday, as well as streaming today being Tuesday at 3pm, Thursday at 1pm, and then Friday again at 3pm, all GMT UTC time. So if you do want to come and hang out with myself and my incredible community, you are all more than welcome. It is also a great place for new backers as well, especially if you have any questions regarding Star Citizen, that is the best place for you to ask them. But with that said, I hope you all have a great week, whatever it is that you get up to. And if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Also, if you could hit that thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It does the channel a big favor. And tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do this without you guys. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.